Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Honda Guys. We are all about Hondas. I'm Navin. For today's episode, we are going to talk about the game changer, the Honda City RS. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't want to be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring I just want a life that is worth every day exploring I my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be great This Honda City RS is priced at 105000 onwards and it is available in three shades Passion Red Pearl, Platinum White Pearl and Modern Steel Metallic Under the hood is the newly launched IMMD powertrain which consists of a 1.5 litre double overhead cam iVTEC engine with 98 horsepower and 127 newton meters of torque and it is coupled with a larger traction motor with 108 horsepower and 253 newton meters of torque. The IMMD works in three different modes the EV drive, hybrid drive, and the engine drive. The Sonda City RS will always start in EV drive in silence. You will hear the engine occasionally start, but only to charge the 1.3 kilowatts lithium ion battery which power the traction motor when you speed up the hybrid drive will kick in where the traction motor is still the main powerhouse to power the wheels but the engine will be in higher rev to send more juice to the battery in high speed cruising the engine will take over the driving mode to power the wheels why because conventional engine is more efficient compared to the electric motor in that situation the fuel consumption for this car is really good. It only consumes 3.6 liters per 100 kilometers. Personally, I really like this car. It saves me a lot of time and money to refuel my car. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. The Honda City RS is equipped with automatic full LED headlamps and is complement with the LED fog light and with this aggressive garnish design. The honeycomb grille is finished in gloss black with exclusive blue edge trim Honda logo in the middle. Also exclusive to the RS variant is the carbon pattern trim on the front lip. This variant also sport the full suit of Honda sensing safety system which consists of the lane departure warning system, road departure mitigation, lane keep assist system, collision mitigation braking system, forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control and the auto high beam to assist all drivers in various situations. More on that on the next episode. Okay, let's look at the side of the car. Right here we have the 16 inch dual tone alloy wheels and right here we also have the power retractable side mirror with gloss black finishing that houses the Honda Limoj camera. This Honda Limoj camera will assist driver to drive safely and to eliminate any blind spot on the left hand side. And do you guys notice there is one full length horizontal line that connects the front headlights to the rear lights which makes the car look much more longer. And right here, exclusive for this Honda City RS model only, we have the rear disc brake. This disc brake is not only for the looks, it is also for the safety performance of this car. Okay, let's go to the rear of 
the car. Right up here, we have this shaft antenna. And down here, we have this gloss black finishing ductile spoiler. This ductile spoiler is exclusive for the Honda City RS only. And down here, we also have this blue edge trim Honda logo and the reverse camera. And we also have the newly designed LED combi lights. These combi lights, personally, I like it very much. Uh, it is very aggressive and sporty looking. And we also have down here, we also have this newly designed rear bumper with this carbon finishing rear diffuser, all right? And we also have this rear uh, vertical reflector, okay? Now let us check what is inside the boot. Wow, surprisingly, quite a big space for 409 liters of boot space. Okay, here we have these two lever here. It's actually for you to fold down the rear seat. Sometimes you want to carry some long stuff, you can do so. Okay, and let us check what is down here. Down here we have some storage space. And also we have the tire repair kit. And for your information, the battery pack is located right beneath this. Okay, the City RS is equipped with a keyless entry system. Okay, right here we have this button here. It's for you to lock your car. To unlock your car, you just need to put your hand right here on the handle because this the sensor is located right here. The seats are manually adjustable seat with high adjuster for the driver's side. It's very comfortable. And I kind of like this material here. It is a half leather with this ultra suede and red stitching. Very sporty design. And I think it's very comfortable for long journey. Now let's look at the dashboard. It features the trapezoid shaped aircon vent here with the silver lining. I personally feel the build quality is much more better compared to the previous generation of Honda City. It feels more solid and sturdy. On the passenger side, there is also a part of a leather trim with red stitching and also this black gloss finishing trim here. The door panel also uses the same material, leather and red stitching here with uh, this bottle holder and some storage compartment here. I kind of like the new steering. My hand grips the steering nicely. This steering is wrapped with uh, leather with this red stitching right here. And there is a tilt and telescopic adjuster right here. You can adjust okay, like this. As I am 178 cm tall, uh, I can adjust the steering, you know, according to my preference. On the left side of the steering wheel is a control button for you to control your volume up and down. And in the middle is this navigation wheel right here to browse the information on the 7 inch TFT meter. Okay, right here, there is a few buttons for you to answer and to reject calls. And there is also a voice command button if you want to use this voice command. On the right side here, there is a button for you to control the adaptive cruise control and also the lane keep assist system. The Honda City RS comes with the standard, this hybrid specific 7 inch TFT meter cluster. It can display the information of the drive mode, the fuel consumption, and many more. Honda is very generous to offer the Honda City RS with this big 8 inch uh, infotainment system that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connection. And right beneath here is the aircon control knobs with this LCD display also. Alright, down here there is one 12 volt power socket and also two USB ports. And there is also two cup holders with some storage space. Right down here, this gear lever also comes with this leather wrapping and with the uh, red stitching and also this electric parking brake with brake hole control. And right down here is the center console. There is also a lot of space. You can put your wallet, you can put your stuff here. And next, let's see what is at the back. For the rear seat material, it's the same as the front seat. It is half leather with ultra sweet. And there is also a center armrest in the rear. There's also two cup holders. As I mentioned earlier, 
I'm 178 cm tall and this is my usual driving position I still have a lot of space very comfortable uh, around two knuckles of uh, space in between uh, this front seat and my knee and in the, there is also like about one knuckle of space between my head and the roof of this car it's very spacious back here we have two aircon vents for the rear passenger and we also have two power outlets for the rear passenger to charge the devices The Honda City RS is equipped with 6 airbags, ABS, EBD, VSA and the Honda Sensing Watch our next episode for in-depth information about the safety features and also the test drive experience If you'd like to get a Honda, you can contact me at this number below If you like this video and want us to review more Honda models Please let us know in the comment section And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel And turn on the notification button too Signing off, I'm Navin from the Honda Guys we are all about Hondas. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.